Hey guys, here's my recipe for quick and easy chicken wings. In a bowl, add the chicken wings and season with a generous quantity of salt. Sprinkle in paprika powder. Make sure it is evenly spread over the chicken wings. Sprinkle in further garlic powder. Garlic powder gives it a very nice, rich, earthy flavor. And drizzle in vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is very important because it helps to keep all the flavors and the spices intact and helps to coat the chicken wings well. Just toss them quite well and with a spatula or a spoonula rather, mix the chicken wings with the spices and spoon the chicken wings onto a tray. Do not make it into a heap spool because you want it to be cooking evenly. So make sure you spread the chicken wings evenly onto a tray. This is a baked recipe and this is the first part of baking. And because we bake it, it's much lighter. So I prefer to having this baked rather than to fry it. Now always remember when you're baking the chicken wings, you need to preheat your oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade and that will cook for 15 minutes till crisp. For the marinade, spoon in or rather squeeze in a generous quantity of barbecue sauce, some tomato ketchup. I love the ketchup because it gives a very nice rich tomato and an umami uh, feel to the sauce. And I also love to put in sriracha sauce because I love the chili flavors. If you don't like chili, you can actually skip the sriracha sauce altogether. With a spoon once again, stir in the sauce together, mix in the three ingredients together till they have a very nice smooth mixture is formed. Now once the chicken cooks for 15 minutes in the oven, it becomes crisp and it is now warm and ready to go into the barbecue sauce. And because they are nice and warm, they actually take flavors very well of the barbecue sauce. So you have to ensure that you mix all the sauce together well with the chicken wings. So each and every part of the chicken wings has to be evenly coated with the barbecue sauce. And what you get is the rich brown color of the barbecue sauce covering the chicken wings well. Now these chicken wings go back into the roasting tray and as you remember they have been pre-baked for 15 minutes and were crisp. They don't need too much time to cook anymore. So this will go back into a preheated oven again at 375 degree Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade for my European friends and will cook for a further 5 minutes. But you know what? The best parts and the best flavors of the barbecue sauce are always at the bottom of the bowl because all the flavors stick to the base of the bowl. So ensure that all of these flavors are scooped out and evenly spread on the cooked barbecue chicken wings. So don't miss any part of it. All the goodness has to be put back onto the chicken wings. These are then set to go back in the oven for a further five minutes to become nice, rich, glossy so you know, when you take it out of the oven eventually they become very dark and aerial you see that rich brown juicy you can almost feel the kind of heat and the softness they would have when you bite into the chicken wings they are crispy on the outside they are sticky they stick onto your fingers they stick onto your lips but when you bite into them they are very juicy and tender and it, these are best had with your fingers for me, the best accompaniment to go with the barbecue chicken wings is a cheese sauce. A very simple cheese sauce to accompany that. But the best flavors are still onto the roasting tray. So spoon out till the last spoon and put the glaze on the chicken wings. And the chicken wings are ready to be enjoyed with some cheese sauce. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to tuck it and enjoy myself. God, isn't that incredible? Time to eat. And enjoy. Bon appétit.